Hello, it's Danielle again. Welcome to another challenge video. I am really excited about this challenge because I used to do this every day for multiple years and I've just totally gotten off of it and I know it will make a big difference to reincorporate in my life again. And that is the 10,000 steps a day challenge. So if you've ever done Fitbit or Garmin or any of those like activity trackers, a lot of times the goal that they give you is 10,000 steps. Um, and it's a little bit of a push for me. That might be easy for some people. Um, it might be super, super hard for other people, depending on your lifestyle and the kind of work you do and that kind of thing. Um, I spent the last two weeks um, tracking kind of my baseline on my Fitbit. And for some reason, I forgot to wear my Fitbit on Thursday, both weeks, which is a little bit odd, but uh, <laughs> that happened that way, but my Thursday schedule is very similar to my Wednesday, so I'm going to assume that my steps were similar to my Wednesday steps. Um, but on average, let's see, this is what I did. So I need to write down yesterday's. Um, so a lot of days I didn't get 3,000 steps. Um, and then other days I got a little over 4,000, and one day I got over 5,000. Wednesdays and Thursdays are, at least Wednesdays, are my um, highest days, and I'm guessing Thursdays are similar, um, because I am not just sitting at a computer working those days. I am moving around a lot more to work. So um, I have a ways to go to get myself to 10,000 steps every day. Um, so I'm going to have to be really, really intentional and work really hard at it um, and get back in that habit because it wasn't that long ago that I was doing that every day. And this isn't sponsored by anything, of course, but, um, you know, I'm using, I'm using my Fitbit, which I have the little clippy one. And right now it is 1225. And I have under a thousand steps. Oops. So, ways to go. So I'm gonna do this for at least seven days and check in and see if I feel like I'm in the habit and I'm meeting the challenge. Then I will record the ending to this video then. If I feel like I need to continue this on for more weeks to really feel like I can continue this habit successfully moving forward, then I will do that. So, time to get started. So it is 7.44 and I'm at 7,707 steps. So still have a little ways to go, but doing pretty good for first day with 10,000 steps. So it's day two of the step challenge. You can see day one, I made it to 11,440 steps. So far today I'm at 4,415 and it is almost 5.30, it's 5.21. Um, so I'm going to record those in my chart over here and keep getting those steps to get to 10K today. So it's day three of my 10,000 steps challenge. It's Wednesday at 10.10 10 p.m. I have just recently finished my 10,000 steps for today. I'm not really having problems with getting my steps in. 
Um, it's going pretty easily so far, which is kind of shocking considering how low my steps were before trying. Um, but my calves are sore. So I can feel the difference in my body even though it's not too hard of work to do. So it's Thursday, day four. It's past 11 p.m. It's 11, it's almost 11.15. I am at 6,000. 500 and something steps very very behind. I've let this day get away from me So I need to catch up so the next 45 minutes I'm gonna be running in place running around my house to hopefully still make it to my 10,000 steps today so I think I can do it So it's just before I don't know if you can read that Don't be fuzzy so it's just before midnight and I finished my 10,000 steps. Did it. All right, so I finished the challenge. I made it um, a full week with getting at least 10,000 steps every day. And I was surprised by how easy it felt during that first week um, going from, I'll review my little chart here for, so my baseline weeks, you know, a lot of times it was between um, 2,500 and like four or 5,000. Um, and then my challenge week, um, was 10 to 11,000. Um, so it was a big change and it seemed pretty easy for me. Um, I felt the first few days my calves felt kind of sore. Um, and I was worried about days where I spent a lot of time working on the computer or teaching piano or doing therapy with a client where I'd be sitting, that'd be hard. That'd be hard to fit it in. And it really wasn't that week. So I was kind of like, why have I been putting this off or not focusing on it? Because it's really not that hard. Then the following week, when Monday hit, I got sick. And so Monday, I did not get my steps in. I think I got like two to 3,000 because I really just rested all day and I wasn't feeling well. So, I mean, that seems like a perfectly good reason to not. And luckily that waited until I was done with my challenge week. So that timing wise was fine. Um, and so then it was a little bit harder to work back to it because, you know, I still wasn't feeling well. I still have a little bit of congestion now. It's a week out from that Monday. Um, so after my full challenge week, the next week I had like three or four days where I hit 10,000 and then some where I did not, but I wasn't 100% healthy. Um, but so now I'm trying to make sure that I'm actually developing it into this habit and not letting things like that totally knock me off because I think that's part of the problem is, you know, when you have the energy for it and you're excited about it, it's easy to get in that habit and that rhythm and set it up. Um, but what's not always easy is sticking to it and um, coming back to it when something does throw you off of it. So that's kind of where I'm at now. This is one that I am going to stick with, that I am going to keep making a priority. And I know that it's really great for me to make sure that I'm not living a sedentary life, that it's not just when I go to the gym or do yoga that I'm getting exercise or movement in my life. It's, um, just that, that daily movement, that moving around, um, the choosing to take the stairs. Um, one of the things that this challenge taught me or uh, motivated me to do was to buy um, an adaptation for my desk so I can have a standing desk, um, so I can kind of walk and move in place um, and spend less time sitting down. So I'm waiting for the arrival of that, and you can see that on my vlogs if you're following me. So I'm really happy about this challenge, and... Um, I think that it was a great success and I'm a little bit frustrated that I fell off a bit, but I know that that's what I need, my body needed to recover from a little cold. Um, but I'm moving forward with that and I'm excited to start the next challenge. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you hit subscribe and I will see you on the next challenge and in all of my daily vlogs in between.